G'day, how's it going? So my name's Troy, and in today's video, we're talking about this bad boy. So this is the uh, B-Link 12th generation mini PC. So it's got a Alder Lake N100 processor, 16 gig of memory, 500 gigabyte storage, Wi-Fi 6, and a 2.5 gig uh, ethernet card. I bought this thing because I was looking for something to replace my big bulky uh, lab box that I've got. So it's just a white box build. It's probably about, I don't know, 10, 15 years old now and it just runs a few VMs on VMware. To be honest, it's just pissing me off with the amount of storage and noise it makes sitting in my study. So I wanted something that could still run, you know, a couple Docker containers, um, some connectors, and maybe a couple WordPress sites. And then something I could still sort of tinker around with when, you know, I wanted to build something around Home Assistant or, you know, get into that home automation space. So I ended up finding those AliExpress boxes, the ones that have um, four 2.5 gig network ports, and I ordered one of those which I was planning to make into my PFSense box virtualized and then build a bunch of stuff around it. But I sort of went in a different direction and whenever that comes, um, I will end up building PFSense in it, but I won't virtualize it. So I needed something that I could put all my VM stuff onto. So I'm keen to see what this thing can do. Um, I haven't played with these mini PCs before, so this will be a first for me. So why don't we unbox it, see what's inside, and then we'll get into the uh, VM hypervisor install and see how smooth that process goes. All right, so let's start the unboxing. So I've already taken the wrapping off, so I don't need to do that. Put that over onto the side there. What have we got? User manual, some crap. Accessories. Oh yeah, HDMI cable, power adapter. Oh, they've given me the right one. That's good. Some screws and a USB cable. Cool. Put that off to the side. And the actual box itself. So some more foam. That's cool. Thank you for the choice. If you can't look at it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. I need that crap. Yeah, okay. More plastic than I thought it was going to be. What do we got in terms of I.O.? We got two ports, two LAN ports, two HDMI. Okay. USB-C, USB. What does that do? Quick setting button description plus delete to... Okay. Cool. That's what it looks like. Let's get the build happening. All right, so I don't have a spare screen or anything that I can use, so I'm just using this um, video recording monitor that I've got, plugged into HDMI. I've got myself a keyboard and I've plugged it in. So let's fire it up and see what happens. Oh, we've got something on the screen. BIOS, okay, perfect. Yep, 16 gig memory, okay. I might plug in my USB now. Hit delete, so I can get into the boot menu. I do need to get the USB to install ESX, so I'll grab that now. All right, so I'm gonna plug in another USB. This can be the drive that I install onto. All right, save changes and exit. So this should be booting, here we go, ESXi installer. That's what we want. Just waiting for that to finish. All right, so it's picked up processor and memory. Hit into to continue. F11 to accept and continue. Scanning for available devices. Yep, my SanDisk disk. Yes, I know it's going to be overwritten. Okay, enter root password, install. And we're cooking. We are installing. All right, so we might just wait for that one to finish and then we'll come back to it. All right, so I just finished the install. Uh, I've booted it up and I'm going to jump onto the computer now and see what the VMware side looks like. So let's do that. All right, so I've just loaded up the VMware page. Let's log in. Log in, it's connecting, that's good. Cool, version eight, update two. Recognizing our memory, recognizing our CPU, that's good. Uh, what about the network cards? Oh yeah, we've got both. So one's plugged in and then the other, is, other isn't. All right, cool. Oh, what about storage? Let's set up some storage devices. So we've installed it onto a um, 
USB 3 uh, flash drive and then we've got inbuilt storage as well. So I'll NVMe, okay. Um, let's call it um, NVMe. Next. VMS 6, yes. Use a full disk. Finish. It's about to be erased, that's okay, let's erase it. Sweet. Okay, cool. So now we've got the data store with, okay, sick. So if I was to create a new VM, create a new VM, whatever, test. Can't spell, test. Guess to OS, um, I don't know, Linux. One two sixty four next. Cool. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. So this is all set up. So I'm gonna get ahead and start building some VMs out of this. But yeah, this um, I guess I'll test this little device over the next little bit and see how we go. So um, if you like the video, you know, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. But uh, thanks for watching. Catch you later.